In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really effective blitz, and a blitz that works, you're going to be able to only send four against a blocked running back and get pressure consistently in Madden 23. Now, we're going to be in the 46 playbook today. We're going to be taking a look at the Nickel 33 Cub. If you want to get my Nickel 33 Cub defensive ebook, make sure to join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any updates that we release while your membership is active. So, for just $10, you're going to get access to over 20 ebooks and several pro tips over on the Patreon. Now, like I said, today we're going to be taking a look at the Nickel 33 Cub. We're in the 46 playbook. And what you want to do is you want to put safeties that are fast, that have good agility. You want to put those guys in at the linebacker position. So if you take a look here, I'm on the I'm the Dallas Cowboys. I've got Wilson and I've got uh, Mukuma or however you say his name. You could also put, um, you know, just put safeties in. That's the biggest thing. Um, that's the key to this blitz, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to audible to Mike Blitz 0 in nickel 3-3 three, three cub. And basically audible down and you see that it's going to have minimal movement now the beauty of this defense is through very simple setup we're just going to pinch our line and linebackers and then we're going to qb contain you're going to notice that we're going to send five men at the quarterback and i guess sometimes it's going to come free normally this is going to come completely free off of the right side what you might have to do um, is go ahead and just get your user down here in the a gap and i'm going to show you the four man version in just a second but as you can see we're able to get that edge pressure at the quarterback. Now, the primary way um, that people can pass protect, specifically out of bunch and out of formations like bunch and tight, they're going to want to block their running back to try to pick this up. And this is actually going to make this blitz even better. So what you're going to see here, and this is why I love this defense against gun bunch. This is why I pretty much love this defense against everything. In our ebook, we actually show you um, key adjustments to the coverage behind it to make it even more effective. You're going to notice that a lot of times he's going to loop around the running back whenever the running back is blocking him. And this is where we're going to get to our four-man setup here in just a second. So um, you're going to see here again, I'm going to block my running back. A lot of times he's going to loop around just like that right there, and we're able to get the sack. Now, the beauty of this is if your opponent starts to block their running back a lot, there's actually a four-man variation of this pressure that is specifically designed for blocked running back situations. And what we're going to do is we're going to do everything exactly the same, except the only difference is we're after we contain, we're going to go ahead and crash our defensive line outside, and we're going to man up that linebacker that was blitzing onto the tight end. So uh, there's only one player on the contain, and we're only sending four people at the quarterback. What you're going to notice is if they block their running back, this guy is still going to have that looping uh, concept where he's going to get around that running back a lot. They're going to feel that pressure. It might not come in 100% of the time, but it's definitely a pressure that they're going to feel, um, and they're going to have to basically you know, get the ball out quick. So again, here you see he's going to loop around, put the quarterback on a timer, and you're going to see that we also get sheds, which leads me to my next point about the nickel 3-3 cub. It's one of those formations in Madden year over year that has had really, really, really good shed, um, you know, sheds from their interior pass rush. This is actually something that's super underrated in this game. If you have a good shed defense, you can get good pressure, as you can see right here. But the benefit of having a good shed defense is now we can drop players into coverage and have much better um, alignment for you know what our opponent's doing. For example, if we're worried that they're going to send the running back out on a route then you know we can make adjustments like the scissor adjustment. Or if we're worried about a corner route or out route to the right, then we can drop a zone from the safety or something like that. But what you'll see here is the fact that we can send only four and they can still force them to feel the pressure. Um, you're going to see a lot of people panic throw uh, against this defense. So this is one of my favorite defenses in the game right now. I just released a brand new defensive ebook over on our Patreon talking about dollar. But this defense is still really, really, really effective, especially if you have a, a good safety. Now, the key with this is, and the reason why Donovan Wilson is really getting picked up, has to do with the fact that his agility is not as high as some of the cards that we have in Ultimate Team right now. The higher the agility that your guy is going to have, the better uh, pressure you're going to get on this four-man pass rush, as you can see right there. So the best thing, best case scenario is to get safeties that are fast, that have good agility, and can actually get some really good pressure at the quarterback. The nickel 3-3 Cub, to me, is one of the defenses that is super well-equipped um, to be able to attack the current offensive meta because of the fact that we're able to run man coverage at a pretty high level. 
we're able to also, one of the things that I'm actually really like doing is actually backing off my coverage. I think that this is a super underrated adjustment um, because this kind of gives the appeal of like, oh, they're not going to blitz, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, you send five and you're able to guarantee your pressure whether they block a running back or not, as you can see right there. So I really like this little defense here. Again, the, the big key here is we just want to put the pressure on the running back side. And this, in my opinion, is actually better than dollar because you can you can oftentimes pick up dollar just by blocking a running back and slide protecting away from the running back. With something like this, now if they block their running back and they do the same pass protection, you're going to see that this guy has a really good chance to loop around and at least make them feel like they're getting pressured um, off of the edge. This provides a tremendous amount of value on the defensive side of the ball. And the other thing that you can do with this defense is you can always drop back into coverage and do, you know, something like this where you have, you know, drop eight coverage and man, got really good alignment from the 3-3 Cub, I think, to be able to defend a lot of the current meta, as you can see right there. So, again, if you want to check out my Nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. We show you step-by-step -step how to shut down bunch, how to shut down trips, how to shut down tight U-trips, a lot of the popular meta formations you're going to face as well as how to stop just everyday random formations that you're going to be facing online. So if you want to check that out, the link is in the description. I want to thank you for watching the video, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.